Albertans could soon be looking toward an economic future that doesn't depend so heavily on oil and gas. On Wednesday night, Alberta Premier Daniel Smith delivering a speech to the province ahead of the release of the 2024 budget, saying tough economic times are ahead and it's time for Alberta to rethink its economy in the long term. Alberta is blessed with abundant natural resource wealth. However, the volatile price of oil and gas often has us riding a budget roller coaster from year to year. The Premier says economists are forecasting low oil and gas prices over the next year, which would affect provincial revenue. Adding the cycle between a good and bad economy is unsustainable. And it's time to make long-term investments that will provide a steadier economic foundation, with Smith highlighting the Alberta Heritage Fund, created in 1976, which the Premier says could have already grown to more than $250 billion with proper investment. Smith anticipating this plan could see the fund's value balloon to between $250 and $400 billion by the year 2050, the same year Alberta expects to be fully transitioned to a carbon-neutral economy. In my view, our province has one last shot at getting this right. And despite facing lower resource revenues, Smith says cuts aren't needed, instead suggesting the province will prioritize investments into health care, education and social services. However, those income tax cuts she promised on the campaign trail will have to wait at least another year before being phased in. But Smith also shut down any speculation of increased taxes or the introduction of a new provincial sales tax. It is going to be an exciting time for our province and for Canada, especially once we finally get a federal government that acts like a strategic partner rather than a delusional adversary. NDP Deputy Leader and House Leader Christina Gray responding to the Premier's address Wednesday evening, saying the official opposition anticipates next week's budget will fall short on delivering critical investment into health care, education and following through on campaign promises. The Albertans are missing out on at least $272 million in affordability measures that she promised in the election as well as any action on lowering utility prices, high rents, or even to offer relief on soaring insurance rates. Alberta is expecting to kick off investment into the Alberta Heritage Fund this year, with next week's budget chipping in $3 billion of surplus. Alberta's full financial blueprint for the upcoming year will be announced Thursday, February 29th. In Edmonton, Elliot Knopp, City News.